Welcome gamers to another One Piece Bounce Rush video. So you see, you jumped into this video, we're looking at all the Kaidos in the game. The only one that's still relevant is this hybrid Kaido, of course. And even though he's struggling against Alba, Gear 5, Big Ram still food because you can recover on the block, block here. You just need to be careful because, you know, going into unnecessary fights, you will die like this. I mean, the Gear 5, I hit him a lot of damage, like half HP because he didn't have his defensive bar. But to fight them uh, when you can't take away the dodge and they have all the invisible skills is a problem because Kaido is not as tanky. And it's like the one I have right now is 5 star, so I'm not gonna try my luck. Yeah, we knew that Gear 5 is gonna spend me skills there. So if you know Kaido straight well and you know the enemy's abilities too well, you can play well with the Saran. The thing is, you want to know when to teleport this Kaido. Don't try to teleport where there's enemies there. Because Kaido is like almost a year old at this point. And everyone knows you're gonna teleport your ass. So you need to be really careful like who you choose. Because you're not gonna just gonna get an NPC bot to bash their head with a happy Kaido. That, you know, you do get those moments where you get that Bagua and then that beautiful KO. But it's not that uh, frequent. With Alba, I think Kaido can deal with him definitely. Like your normals are better than his. You just need to get lucky in not taking damage from those devastating skills. I mean, this was unfortunate, but I just teleported to get greeted by Bajoran Khan. I didn't know he had that. But we managed to escape. And look at this. I mean, Alba's skills, uh, how they, the duration and the range. Look at this. How did they die, bro? This is insanity. They stay for so long as like an animation. I should have not got hit by that. Like, I wasn't even in the fight. I, I, I died. These characters are so broken. Yeah, so with Gato, like, definitely I'm playing him differently. I'm not like looking for fights. Especially at 5 star, like, I'm just trying to get the flag with as much ease as possible. Not trying to show off like, man, you know, he can cook. Definitely can fight. You can cook. You do well against attackers and runners. Some, like the only defender you're struggling with is actually gear 5. And maybe some ones who also nullify a recovery block. And you can't take that away from them. <laughs> Status effects, another problem as well to him. But since everyone is running the same units, you're only going to struggle like most like in Skill 5. So this is another like highlight reel, him bullying Odin. Yeah, Odin is relevant now. Look at that. He can't escape. He even got pulled in by my leg. And yeah, he died again there. With the big man. And then there is the blue Kaido. We're gonna get back to Epic Kaido because I put two games of him since his ban is back. Oh, Blue Kaido, bro, he's in devastating hell. I don't think even giving him Ignore Engage will uh, fix him, but it will definitely help. But uh, his problems run much deeper now than that. Almost everyone is coming with skills that ignore defense. They hit like a truck. And Kaido, my man, cannot take. He needs damage reduction. Like, this is the buff that he needs. Other than that, he will struggle. Yeah, that. Alaba uh, luckily didn't dodge and look at that that skill is definitely no escape it's definitely used to not die but <laughs> that's what it is like it's not uh, a skill to defend the flags no it's to defend yourself from dying so this Shanks he was helping me so much I was thanking him giving him all the love like he made this kind of gameplay possible he was my wingman you know when we are uh, Kaido and Shanks talking Marine Ford, you know, they were partners and had all the fun. Yeah, so yeah, Kaido still needs that 80% gauge. Man. So we got stunned there. Aguba is no problem. Like, once you get even just a few stakes, you're not gonna suffer or have any problems against him. And we even managed to get the double charge, and he still died. He couldn't dodge out of that. The thing is with Kaido. Like you only have one dodge. Imagine a scenario. You are against gear 5 and Alba. Like it's gonna come like this. And they are there with their 4 or 5 skills. 
and you have one dodge and one invisible skin. I mean, you can only do so much. You see, I dodged that, and then I dodged the Gambler, uh, even the Giganto skill, and then boom. I mean, there's nothing you can do. I mean, Kaido is just me. Like, I'm trying to defend myself because if I let Alba hit me from the normals, he's gonna kill me because he gets like 50% damage increase and 20% attack buff. I mean, it's disgusting. Yeah. Poor Kaido, man. This unit, you know, this is a, I'm running Grand Line Zone, uh, six star, Hybrid Kaido has type advantage and everything, nothing is helping. You cannot tank album, bro. He just massacres everyone, and Kaido can't do anything. So yeah, this Shanks is just killing everyone and everything. He killed that Alba, he killed the Gear 5, he's killing the Hakuba, like, the perfect wingman. It's rare to see this Shanks being able to perform like this, but it happens. Uh, and this small camera, it's over. And he's 5 years old with Kaido. If you get good teammates, you will do good. But for buffs, I wish he gets some damage reduction. Definitely they ignore engage. And uh, maybe, I don't know, but they have to change how he works in game. That third hit, that last hit, needs to knock back or do something, bro, because you need that to nullify these uh, toxic runners, in my opinion. Or like have crazy damage. Like every time Kaido is down, he gets a tech buff, like Big Mom. Then we can start cooking. Now look at this horrible. He thinks I'm dumb and I'm gonna trigger his skill. No. Eat my bottle breath. You know Kaido, like in the one arc, he was spamming that skill, bottle breath, every two seconds. Like every time it was in dragon form, it was bottle breath. <laughs> ah, so we're on this Kaido. This is like, I played him in S plus while I was hyper boost grinding, you know, doing that boost for, for the orbs and everything. Yeah. So I managed to get a game grabbing, but this character, even though the meta helps him, you know, because his like drunk state gives him the status notification, but he, he doesn't dodge. These are uh, characters like our buggy five, all these Shanks counters, they're actually able to get rid of his status notification and his dodge. Like you see Zoro did that. And then I can dodge now. That would have been like hundred percent hit. And then I can bower his ass. I just need to time it uh, properly. But look at silly old me hitting someone with 70% damage reduction with 100 percent attack buff. That is a clear example of, you know, damage reduction, uh, like beats attack uh, increase, just like that. Because Kaido, like he has all the offensive power in the world, but he couldn't do any trouble. <laughs> so fun, yeah. Because you need the damage increase to go through that, and then, yeah, you can hit basically anyone, but just avoid avoid the uh, people with high damage reduction because you're just going to deal ditch it to them. And he only gets like damage increase on enemy flags specifically. Mm -hmm. But the drunk state makes him powerful. Look at that. Uh Boa almost stoned us, but we go ahead in time. We got the drinking time. And someone is uh as well hyper boost grinding, because there's a nightmare Luffy. He will never use this character outside of getting his orbs full boost for. Yeah, with Kaido Mail, you just have to make sure people are not dumb enough to hit you and they're scared of your skills basically and you can do it unfortunately my team is like filled with exes but what the hell are they doing they're struggling against one gear five in our second flag and they can't do anything i mean this happens nothing can do the robin's here again and this nightmare luffy is surviving so like like this luffy you just spam, you need to hit someone first and then use the bunch and gun but Man, they don't know how to use this Luffy, bro. Unlucky. You see, my Bagua, I wanted to KO the Alba, but dude, man, that skill's range is disgusting. I was not even hit by that skill. This should have hit Alba so much. Kind of pissed about that. But Kaido, like, if you use him, you will get a, a lot of one shots. Like, one shooting Gear 5, one shooting Zonos, if they don't have the revives. And yeah, one of the problems like why this character can't compete, look at that. Like it's almost they don't hit, they don't 
They don't have anything to them. They just suffer. And you saw so Alba just, you know, move through us. Like if they improved the, the hitbox, made him faster, and then maybe made his, uh, yeah, just make him faster generally. He'll be good. Look at this gear 5 they counter. Eating that 42k crit by Amy Hake. Another gear 5 doing his dodging ability or counter ability, should I say. A Zoro unable to down me and then eat the bug in his head. And now we're back to Hybrid Kaido. Yeah, so Hybrid Kaido, mm, I mean, pretty much, you see this match, it was like all red. The whole team was red, but he was able to dominate. That just shows like Kaido does not care that much if you are like his tab disadvantage. As long as he is able to survive and not take skills like that, then you can cook with him. Luckily, I teleport, but uh, Big Mom got the bonbon. Bon. Mm -hmm. And like it's two of them, I can't win. I am like aflamed, but at least Kaido can fight that because he can heal block Big Mom. But you still, you know, do less damage to Big Mom, unfortunately. He'll block them both, but uh, I'll but remove that with his aflame. Yeah, just play two big mummies. Yeah, too much for Kaido. But you see, they're losing, bro. And the team is able to also help out there, holding the flags, watching the big mounts. Yeah, they're all red, bro. Watching out for that uh, gear 5, giving the Alba uh, free dodge. Imagine. He hit me. But he wasn't even fighting, it was like from long range. That scare was so devastating. Brah. They keep coming. Oh my god. The fact that we managed to win this and survive with Green Gaido just shows how powerful he is, bro. One, come on. I'm down to the revive. And look at this. Even though she tried to use the invincible skill, my connection is stable saved me there. Sometimes, you know, most of the time, those invisibility skills can get like hit once. It's not even neg, like, they just don't work, bro. Sometimes they can, like, receive that damage and it's so disgusting. That was a great dodge there, avoiding that Fulgura. Avoiding those uh, Alba skills if they teleport to us. Oh man, look at that. Yeah, so you don't want to take unnecessary damage. You want to make sure you can cap, stay above Cinemagel HP if you're using those uh, cap metals. But I was using a Kaido set. Uh, this hybrid Kaido, even though it's five star, and we get the W like that. That block that Alba. Make sure to yeah, just stay away and look uh, at our surroundings, how the match pans out. And the scooter got the dodge, and we got cooked there. But the team won the match. That's what matters most. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Leave a like, subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next video.